Now, drug trafficking is a global illicit trade involving the cultivation, manufacture, distribution and sale of substances which are subject to drug prohibition laws. Countries across the world are cracking down on drug trade and consumption. Here's a look at these three recent cases. A Breaking Bad style meth manufacturing lab was busted in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. 46 kilograms of meth amphit a mine worth over 23 million dollars was seized during the raid and as per reports at least nine nationals from African countries were arrested. Police seized raw materials and confiscated equipment often used to manufacture synthetic drugs. Methamphetamine is a powerful highly addictive stimulant that affects the central nervous system. It takes the form of a white, odorless, bitter-tasting crystalline powder that easily dissolves in water or even alcohol. Methamphetamine causes increased activity and talkativeness, decreased appetite and a pleasurable sense of well-being, also known as euphoria. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister of the Indian State of Punjab has allocated funds for the installation of CCTVs in border villages to keep a check on cross-border smugglers. The police have promised cash reward for spotting Pakistani drones carrying drugs and weapons. Punjab police are also working to ensure better coordination with India's border security force. Just last year, India's Home Minister said that the country urged Interpol to create a real-time information system on the nexus of narcotics and terrorism. In other news, Walgreens, one of United States' largest drugstore chains, has reached a $230 million settlement with San Francisco over opioid crisis. The agreement comes after a judge found the firm's failures played a role in a crisis that has had catastrophic effects, overwhelming hospitals and devastating neighborhoods. Drug overdose in San Francisco has reached unprecedented highs in recent years. Drug-related deaths surged by 41% in San Francisco in the first quarter of this year and with one person dying of an accidental overdose every 10 hours. The city reportedly saw 200 people die of overdose in the first three months of this year compared with 142 in the same month a year ago.